<laughs> What's up, buddies? It's Thomas. Um, I wanted to check in here today because I was sitting here having a CBD hemp blunt and um, thought, you know what? I've never done a review on these. And I've been taking, I've had these for a while. I love these. Um, I get these from CBDHemp.direct. Um, a lot of places carry these. Um, but I actually love these. Uh, me and my fiance love these. They're great for anxiety, chill session, whatever. Um, got a lot of flavor. And there's one gram of um, CBD uh, hemp flour in there. They're really smooth, um, lots of flavor. This one's strawberry. They come in strawberry, and strawberry, uh, grape, and then just natural. Um, I uh, I like these. I don't have these very often, but I like these um, on like weekends or um, the occasional like get together with friends um, or the um, the times where like your anxiety is super duper high or for people who are in a lot of pain um, I've had a friend who um, who takes these um, and she actually gets them from me because I sell them on my website too um, but she gets them from me and she has like chronic pain in her knees um, and she says this is really you know the, the CBD flower is one of the, the, the best things for her pain. Um, and since she also has anxiety along with it, it takes care of both with one. Um, and then she doesn't have to take a whole bunch of different pain pills that knock her out and like make her feel all bad and whatnot. So, I'll, you know, these are pretty great. This movie's not, or this movie, this video is not meant to be long. Just wanted to share this with you guys. Hop on here. And um, I'm already more than halfway through this. Um, it does come in like about as long as this is. Maybe a little bit shorter. Um, I like them. They're pretty tightly rolled. Um, but as you can see, not so tight that you have to hit it really hard. Um, but it's still a little bit tighter than I prefer my blunts to be. But it's pretty good. So um, we are going to um, just a little update about this channel. I don't know how much video uploading that we'll be able to do. Um, my fiance, I mentioned her before, and you guys watched the, the other video on the capsules, um, that's her. Um, we are getting married in less than two weeks. And then in less than a week from today, we're um, driving out to Utah where she has family um, and then spending week with family then getting married there and then flying to Maui Hawaii which is gonna be so dope I'm so ready for an amazing vacation um, and I've never been to Hawaii so um, and neither has she so we're really excited about that but I don't know over the next two to three weeks how many video uploads that I will be able to do. Um, 
If you guys, however, have ever traveled with CBD through like US um, airlines, um, tell me your experience if you were able to, like if it was in a vacuum sealed bag, your hemp flower in a bat vacuum sealed bag if it was you were able to get through um, TSA with that or not. Um, I know some airlines, not airlines, but some like LA, like Los Angeles, you can actually have, doesn't even have to be um, CBD hemp flower, it can be even um, high THC, um, regular marijuana. Um, they up to like, I want to say it was like 28 grams, which was really amazing. Like, that's really awesome that you can fly out there. Um, so if you guys have ever done that, you know, put a comment down there and, and you know, any tips. Um, if See if I can bring my medicine with me. Um, if not, then we'll probably just have to buy at a shop there in Hawaii or whatever. Um, and, you know buy the CBD hemp flower there. Will we be doing any uploading of videos? Not sure. Um, it'll be our honeymoon, so I'm not really gonna be too focused on these things. Although, we're, we might. So, stay tuned. <laughs> but if you guys, um, you know, don't hear from, um, from this channel in like over the next three weeks, then that's where I've been at, I'm not dropped off, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just enjoying my time with my who will be my you know, my bride. So oh, these are so good. Yeah, you, if you, you've never tried a, a CBD blunt, you guys gotta try them. Uh, whether you wrap it, you know, yourself or um, you buy one that's pre-rolled. Um, like these are, they're they're great. And it, usually, if you get it pre-rolled, I'll show you this. They come with a tip. So I tried showing, tried showing uh, test that the other night, seeing if. I could teach her how to do that. It didn't go over so well. <laughs> no, she just, uh, she does just a, like, that's usually how I hit it. And I don't even know if I can do. <laughs> that's how she. <coughs> Woo! That's how she hits it. Like you don't see it, there's no it just it's a straight hit. But she takes a heck of a lot tinier hits than I do. So No, it's not right. I can't even do it. See I I go straight back to the That's the way I've always smoked. Um I don't really I can't do the I don't know what they call that. Because I think the mouth, is that mouth to lung? Or straight, no, 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 I think that's, mouth to lung is, is the, is that, I don't know, whatever. I'm just chit-chatting with y'all now. So, because I'm enjoying this, I'm feeling really good right now um, off of this. What is actually in here um, is, the flower that's in here is actually the AC Diesel. Um, from CBD Hemp Direct, um, which is an amazing strain. It is a cross between the ACDC strain and the Sour Diesel strain. Um, hence, it gets its AC Diesel strain um, name. Um, so it's got a lot of flavor. Uh, the Sour Diesel um, is primarily for anxiety. 
um, from what I've I've read is it's really great for um, you know making you feel uplifted and making you feel um, you know anxiety relief and then the um, the ACDC is for pain um, pain relief and like you know um, it can be taken for sleep so it can relax you for some reason it doesn't do that as much with me um, like if, if it was nighttime yeah it would I would be able to relax enough to the point where I'm able to go to sleep and it would help with sleep but if I have this during the day um, it's almost like the sour diesel uh, part of it that you the uplifting and that euphoric of you know anxiety relief and it almost like almost wakes me up motivates me um, you know I almost like okay now I'm, I'm good I'm excited I could sit here and watch a good movie or a TV show or I could go and uh, clean the house which I'll be doing both today um, because I did a little bit of cleaning the house this morning because the kitchen was on a hundred um, and um, I just did some cooking, made some baked chicken, some lemon zest baked chicken, which is what I'm going to have for lunch. And then um, I have some buffalo chicken, uh, like dip type stuff, in the crock pot, which is going to be fire later on. Um, although I don't have no chips, so I'm going to have to go to the store and get some chips. Because you can't have buffalo chicken dip without chips. Unless you put it on a slice of bread. But, I'm feeling some chips. So I'll probably hit up the store, get some, like, tortilla chips. And have some buffalo chips and dip. So, that's it guys, that's our video today, and this is about it, that tip goes to about there, so that's the, the end of it right there, so I've just got a couple more hits on there before it is all done. Which, I don't know if you guys know this, um, but I was reading on um, online to see how, like, how to convert your, your, um, your percentage to milligrams. So, like, this is 15%. Where is it at? Where did it go? I know it just said it. 15%. Sorry, that looks like that's backwards for you guys. But, um, yeah, so this, this thing here is, the flour that's in here is 15%. With one gram of that, how do you convert that to know how many milligrams of CBD are in here? Um, and basically, so I learned that you, do, you, you multiply that by 1,000. Um, so 15% times 1,000, then you get your, um, the amount of milligrams that you have in one gram of flour. Ooh. But the reason I was saying that is because it's getting shorter. As I was reading that on the article I was reading it, the as you as you continue to smoke something like a joint or a blunt, it's not the same as if you would out of like a glass piece or something. But um the why it sometimes gets harsher, I guess, is because as it as it starts to shorten up, your your CBD um, or your THC, whichever variation um, of cannabis you're having, um, it actually becomes more potent as it goes on because it actually draws it down and it can almost like it condenses it because your your 
I don't know. I, they didn't say this part like of how that is because they didn't they just didn't. That just as what they had described is that actually your highest amount of CBD or THC is basically on the last like section of of your of the blunt. Um, and that's typically why it gets harsher. Also, typically because the flame is quicker and it's going to be hotter. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool to find that out. But I think that um, how that works, and this is just my brain and kind of, you know, deep thinking and critical thinking here, is that the flame is on the end and if you're hitting it, the flame is then, and the smoke is traveling down through, so it's almost like catching it as it goes. I don't know. But that's my deep thought of the day. I got about one more hit and this is out. So that's all for this video. Y'all have a good one.